Welcome to Booze Under Rocks, and today we're going to make a Kentucky Buck. Now, this cocktail was created by Eric Castro, and he's from San Diego. However, there's a little bit of debate about where he was working when he created it. In a few spots, I'll see between 2008 and 2009 at the Bourbon and Branch. However, I've also seen Polite Provisions and the Rick House. Now, he has worked at all three of those. Having said that, Eric, if you're watching this, please let me know down in the comments down below because I really want to know. Having said that, it's really simple to make and it's served in a highball, so make sure you have a highball, but you also need your shaking glass. So we're going to start that by adding a strawberry. Now what we will do is we will cut the top off and quarter it, drop that into the glass and muddle it thoroughly. Once you've done that, just make sure you wipe off your uh, muddle. And then what you're going to do is grab yourself a lemon, give it a roll just to loosen up the inside membranes. Cut this in half, then cut out a lemon wheel for the garnish. We'll then squeeze and measure half an ounce or 15 milliliters and pour that into the glass. For our next ingredient, we're going to use simple syrup. Now this is a two to one simple syrup, also known as a rich simple syrup. We're going to use the same amount of half an ounce or 15 mils. Now our next ingredient is some bitters. And for this, we're using some Angostura bitters. We don't need a lot. We're just building some depth of flavor in here. And we need a total of two dashes. That's right. And really that comes out to about two and a bit truthfully, but you're going to adjust this depending on what you really, really like. Now to make this a Kentucky buck, of course you have to use Kentucky whiskey. And I have to thank my friend, Eric Sloop for making it possible for me to get this bottle of Angel Envy. It's pretty hard to get here where I live. And you know what? It's fantastic stuff. However, we're going to use um, a full pour of two ounces or 60 mils. Our next step in the process for this cocktail is to shake this with some ice. I don't use crushed ice because it'll just uh, melt and die. Melt and melt and dilute too fast. However, you can use sort of a combination of both. You just want to fill the glass up maybe two thirds of the way. Grab yourself your lid, give it a flip and shake it pretty hard. Now the good thing about actually doing this shaking is it will actually pulverize the uh, strawberry even more. So it'll bring out more of that flavor. Now you're gonna take that off to the side and grab yourself your highball and we're going to fill this with uh, some more ice and you know, some ice that is gonna stay in the glass of course. Anyways, now we are going to double strain this. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that'll leave little chunks of pulp. Now, if you are double straining this like I'm going to, just be aware it's gonna take a little bit longer to get everything through the strainer. Ooh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. However, we're not done. We're going to add Oops, some ginger beer. Now, if you don't have ginger beer and you just have soda, you could use a ginger syrup or even a ginger liqueur to substitute to get the flavors that you want. And we need a total of about three ounces or 90 milliliters. And that looks fantastic. Grab yourself a spoon and you just wanna gently give this a bit of an agitation because all you want doing is just mixing all of the flavors together. Next, you'll grab your lemon wheel that you made for a garnish, a straw, and it's good to go. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. You get the bourbon, you get that ginger, and you get that strawberry underlaid by a little bit of the sweetness and that lemon. If you love this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right over here.